What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another man. 27 M19 draft here on Magic Online. I had no idea where I was going with that, but we made it. We figured it out. We got there together. I like this Thorn Lieutenant. I like a lightning strike. I like these things, I guess. I don't know. My son goes crazy for timers, so he loves Franks. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Hey, Dad, are you watching that thing with the timer again? <laughs> yes, son. Yes, I am. Monsonster, what's going on, buddy? You are also a pretty okay dude. I'm a fan of your work. Could be any one of these three, actually. I think these are the top of the the top of the trash heap. What do you guys think? What should I take? I'm gonna let you guys pick. You got 27 seconds. You gotta pick fast. Eighteen seconds, guys. It's no joke. Two for strike. All right. We did it. We took the we took the old lightning strike. I like this angel. I like luminous bonds probably better than the angel though. It's hard to go wrong with Lightning Strike Luminous Bonds. I also like Gallant Cavalry. I think I like Gallant Cavalry just as much as I like Call to Arms. Is that what the card was called? Call the Cavalry? What was the card called in... Uh... Call the Cavalry. Yeah, okay. Call the Cavalry, Gallant Cavalry, lots of Cavalries. All Cavalry cards make two twos for two. Two two twos, rather. Yeah. So it's either this, this, or this. I'm pretty sure it's this. Is this card good? So Lich's Lich Caress, there's a Horizon Scholar. I mean, even if you get rid of like this, which is probably one of the biggest threats in the set, uh, in the in the non-rare uh, sphere, written on raro sphere, it's still giving you a two-four instead of a four-four. Like, eh. I think, I, yeah, like I think the best use is using it on your own guys to make two fours out of one ones or two twos or o oh threes. But even then, like, I'd rather take this single blue card than the than the double black card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this guy. Oh, Brawl Bash Ogre? Wow. That's fashionably late. Also, a Pegasus Courser and a Gallant Cavalry. First time catching a stream live and watching on years for your YouTube things. I read what you said. I just said it incorrectly. But really, thank you so much for the support, MTG Garlic Bread. I'm a big fan of your... Uh, your garlic bread. Your your existence. This is actually a tricky pack. I like this, but I have no reason to go into black, but I feel bad passing a second one. It's either Courser or Ca Gallant Cavalry. I'm pretty sure it's Courser here. I'm pretty sure the wand actually kills the creature, so I believe it does remove the auras. Okay, well, nothing... Gr oh, another Thorn Lieutenant? Wow. We've passed double Thorn Lieutenant, double Brawl? Brawler? Well, I don't know what that dude's called. Oh, Skel's a Skeleton Archer. I think this is better than this. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Okay, this this these packs are all over the place. I am not thrilled with what's happening right now. I guess Dragon Egg is fine if we want to keep this Lightning Strike, but... Chad, do you get to keep the cards in the MTGA drafts where you get the Nicol Bolas? Axe? Are you saying Lava Axe? Do 
Great. A dual land that is one of our colors and one of our not colors. I'm just going to take this fiery finish. This card's pretty bad, but I mean, in limited, I guess it's fine because you're just killing something. It's just a six mana removal spell, I guess. Well, I'll take the Bogart Brood. All right, well. The Rise came back. The uh, One of the few cards were not in the... So, like, four black cards in this pack. That's pretty comical. I'm just going to take the Rise just in case. I guess we'll just take the Make a Stand. None of these cards are good. Cinder Barons just in case, I guess. I'm not going to play this. Actually, Rupture Spire is probably just a better Cinder Barons. That's, that's anything. That's any color. Yeah, that's silly. Um, I don't care about any of these cards. How are we doing on five drops? None? Yeah, I'll take Fire Elemental. Maybe we play it. Whatever. I mean, our base red, and then we're splashing either white, green, or blue, along with our secondary color, so... Oh, Love Axe. Look, Quacker 2000 wins. Can I ask a per... You can. I mean, I no guarantee I'll answer it. Alpine Moon. That's a rare we want to see. That's a good one. Meteor Golem's probably the pick here. Yeah, 100% Meteor Golem. Easy pick. Hopefully this Highland Lake comes back. What kitchen cleaning product do you find scours the grease and grime like no other? <sighs> I feel like there's a joke here and I'm missing it and I, I'm really kicking myself for it. Oh, Cleansing Nova, Rex Sage, Skyrider Patrol, Sergi McMarrams. Good old fashioned shock. This pack is great, unfortunately. It's not the blue cards. I, it's probably Cleansing Nova also just because we have, uh, we're, we're base white here. Yeah, we're just going to Cleansing Nova here. Scrub Daddy is my rap name. Nice. You might have some, uh, some copyright issues with the real Scrub Daddy. Yeah, that's right. I just said you're not the real Scrub Daddy. Plus, we can also put, put like, a bunch of things like dragon eggs on the board and be like, oh, just wipe the board, and now I get a little dude. I'll be a sub with the next week. Yes, appreciate it. MTG Garlic Bread, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate sub in advance. Advanced subs. Luminous Bonds. And a Spark Tongue Dragon. This pack is also gas. Skeletal Archer, Lich's Caress, and Open the Graves are all very good. Reclamation Sage is great. Pretty sure it's bonds, but like, we got a lot of removal already. Golem finish, Nova bonds and strike so far. We kind of need things to beat down. I think it's actually dragon. Two, passing two Lich's Crest doesn't seem as great, but at the same time, like, that's a lot of five drops. So, what are you going to do? Has anyone ever noticed that Frank and Scrub Daddy have never been in the same place at the same time? Oh, well, this is awkward. I'd appreciate it if you didn't give my Scrub Daddy secrets away. 
So this pack is terrible for both white and for green. And by green, I mean red. We gotta sleep. I think this pack is just bad all around. Looking at it now, I think it's probably sleep. It's little. It's easily the best card in this pack. Gutter snipe could be a thing, but like we have what one, two, three cards. One of them kills it. The other one costs six. Yeah, that's not great. I mean, snipe is playable. It's a two-two for three, of course. But yeah, I'll just take the gutter snipe. Actually, maybe we can get. Well then, all right. I guess we're just building around gutter snipe now. Two gutter snipes is definitely better than one. God, I like Skeletal Archer way more than I, th I should, I think. Do we have any artifacts? We have, like, none. And this deck isn't really prone to making any. It's still 3-3 three, three for 4 that can, uh... Can make, like, a... Turn the 2-1 into a 4-3 indestructible guy, which is pretty good. Be nice if there were instants or sorceries to use to uh we can play we take this timber gorge and splash this thorn lieutenant not a terrible splash but not great either it's probably just this just in case like it's a, it's a solid three three also we can make one of our art <laughs> wow this is very strange all right well i mean i'm just gonna take the second one because if we end up getting multiple artifacts we can actually make them indestructible and then use cleansing nova to destroy all the creatures and we still get to keep two artifacts on board Oh, uh, it's four color Boros. Thanks, thank you very much. I'd appreciate it if you got the uh, the quantity above three correct. Wow, three gutter snipes. Okay, I'm in. The old triple gutter snipe deck. We're going to have to go hard for these instants and sorceries next one. I'll play junk instant sorceries like Revitalize if I have to. They're still creatures, so they would die to know it. Yes, but you're making them indestructible. So, then they don't die because that's how indestructible works. Um... Let's take Marauder's Axe. Could take the Disperse, and if we're splashing blue, Disperse with like... Yeah, actually I like Disperse here. Uh, I mean, we have... Uh, Mighty Leap is good. Um, we have no artifact creatures yet, though, so I mean, it's not like it's a great combo right now. But I think even if you, like, saved your Meteor Golem, it's still pretty good. I think the N19 form with red and really or inferior to the other colors, kind of like bread without garlic. <laughs> Dang. Actually, it does. Yeah, the blue does allow us to pick up some of the more artifact uh, centric cards. Alpine Moon. If they tap play tap lands, we can get them by making them tap for any. Got them? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, John Grimdo, I think you're on the right. I think you're on the right track. I just don't think you're there yet with the Gotham's. But I, I, I think you should keep trying. I think, uh, I think you're getting close. Switcher is reasonable. And we do have a Rupture Spire, so we got maybe that Highland Stream will come back. Actually, this guy, both of these are great for our deck right now. That's actually pretty comical. I'm gonna take the Revitalize. I think we're more inclined to win with three gutter snipes. Especially when this just replaces itself. Oh, 
I don't trust Switcheroo either, but um, I'm ideally just gonna. I'd rather have a second Mighty Leap than a Trumpet Blast in this deck. But Trumpet Blast could be good if we get heroic um, heroic reinforcements. Eh, you're not terrible. You're probably not playing. Actually, make a stand is just better than Trumpet Blast, right? Yeah, probably just better than Trumpet Blast. Palaka Worm. Amazing. Just incredible. That's incredible. Ah, oh, that is sad. This pack is pretty bad for us, unfortunately. No real artifacts. The only instants are blue, pretty much. I mean, Crash Through is... I don't think I'd take Crash Through first. I'd rather just have the Disperse. I could also just take the Deckhand. I think Mare is pretty bad. I mean, especially in a format with skeletal archers and tons of X ones or, or one 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 X's rather. I do think Deckhand is the best card in this pack, and I don't really mind taking it. But double stag. All right. Well, I'll take a stag, I guess. Spit flame seems great here. Yes, please. That's perfect. Yeah, even if we only get this back like one time, it's still very, very good. This is 24 cards. I have to cut something. We're probably cutting... Man, we're not going to cut these gutter snipes because those are a pretty reason. I'm going to take these guys out for now, assuming that we're not going to get many artifacts, if any. It's probably Havoc Devils. We just want to deal damage and 4-3 with trample is pretty reasonable to do that I think stag should be uncommon actually I'm not going to cut revitalize yet just because it triggers all of these and it's just cycles uh, you don't understand why we're not cutting blue we don't have a reason to we have zero reason to cut blue we have a horizon scholar it's part of deckhand is great to just push through damage and disperse and switch through a versatile um cards that trigger cutter snipes that we have three of so i mean we just have no incentive to cut blue like pegasus course is good sky scanner is good arcane encyclopedia is good i mean this could be a militia bugler deck <laughs> how many cards how many cards trigger militia bugler Four, six. Hmm. I think it is Sky Scanner, but I don't like it. I almost think Corsair is a little better there. I do like another Spark Tongue Dragon. That's pretty good. Fire Finish is also pretty good, but it's six mana. Uh, I think I'd just rather have the dragon, which almost does the same thing. And it does get back our... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess they're just insisting we take this. We might cut the blue now, because we have enough bl uh, red and white spells. However, I do like deckhand a lot. And our our two drops are not very good without <laughs> without the... Without the blue, unfortunately. I don't even think our the gutter snipes are that great without the blue. So we'd lose this guy, this guy, and these two. We have like literally no two drop creatures, but I don't think there's actually that many in this set. One, two, three. Lava Axe. Aerial Engineer is a thing. Literally nothing to put on Novice Knight. I definitely don't think Switcher is OP. I think it's reasonable. Yeah. 
Yeah, this pack's pretty bad. I'm just gonna take the Aerial Engineer because. Eh, crash through comes back. Like like you do. Field Creeper? Hmm. Yeah, Blue Eye Artifacts is great, but you actually have to get the deck. It's really hard to piece that thing together. Time to just play another Revitalize. I mean, there's a lot of scutter, gutter snipe damage with the double Revitalize. I don't think Field Creeper is actually very good. Another Aether Shield Artificer. Wow, that is a lot. Goblin Instigator is pretty good, especially with Switcheroo. Alright, that seems fine. Alright, we'll cut the blue for now. We're probably also cutting this Fire Elemental. Definitely looks interesting. If Fiery Finish can also deal damage to the face with Gutter Snipes, it's going to be pretty okay. I think that's a much better card if it's like deal 5 to a creature, deal 2 to a player. I don't think Make a Stand is going to make the cut. Another field creeper. Okay, so now we have double creepers. Could I force mill at some point today? Um, I mean, if someone wants to donate for that, I will definitely do that. But I don't really feel like throwing, throwing three packs away just to force mill because it's actually not a super easy archetype to have force because most of the mill cards are uncommon, like millstone or psychic corrosion. I mean, I could definitely try. I can try to play mill. But you can't really force that archetype if the cards aren't there. So this is 22. We could actually just throw in Tectonic Rift. I don't hate that actually. Like, Snipe into Tectonic Rift, Instigator into Snipe into Tech Rift. That seems okay. I think our deck just wants to keep our Gutter Snipes alive. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna I'm just going to play it like this, and we'll see how this does. Um, no, I st still think like 8-9 is like the way to go here. I will play first. Well, this is as rough a hand as you can get. Alright. Well, this is worse. <laughs> Fantastic. We need to put 17 lands in, right? Yeah, our previous hand was actually much better than this. Because it didn't have 5 drop, 5 drop, 6 drop. Yep, going to 5. Alright, it's kind of like going to 4 here. 
I'm going to keep this on top because this could actually reset the board for us if uh, if we end up doing poorly. Oh, interesting. I want to play this, though, because you do want to hit a land here. So now I wonder if we just play Havoc Devils. I kind of don't want to overcommit because of the Cleansing Nova. I think we can actually... Well, hmm... I really don't want to overcommit here. I don't, I don't want to put anything else on the board, to be honest with you. Because if we go 4-4, four, four, they go 5-5. Five, five, it's just like, oh, well, now we have to Cleansing Nova. Yep, that is a card I would like to uh, definitely wipe away. If they play one more thing, we're probably going to Cleansing Nova. Oh, yeah. 100% cleansing noving. Cleans, cleansing novaing. Noving. That is more than enough power for me to feel okay about it. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to play Dreadmaw here, and our, our red white deck's going to have a difficult time dealing with it, but. Sure. Okay, free Centaur Courser. I usually choose to use that at instant speed, in case you have a counter spell or something that you hit. Rabid Bite on the Gutter Snipe. Yeah, big surprise. Yeah, hard to beat uh, Vine Mare, uh, Vigilant Bayloth, and Gin of Wishes, so. We have two fiery finishes for this gin, so. Interesting. Cool. 
Well, still don't have an. It was fire finish. That's what it's called. What does having the lens replaced mean? I thought when you said lens replaced, I thought you meant in glasses. I thought you had some glasses, but now you're saying in the actual eye. And now I'm like, what does that mean? Well, the old two turn clock. If we hit a land, we can play this guy with kicker. If we don't, we can hit something to play. Thornhide wolves. Oh my God, are you kidding? Great hits, fantastic hits. Believe it or not, our two one ones do not. Yes, there are lenses in your eyes, but I obviously didn't think that was a very common procedure to have done. Or a procedure at all to replace a lens. But thank you for informing me of the uh, of eye technology. Preach. I'm really tempted to just board this guy in. Take out the rifts. We'll take out a planes for a rupture spire. There's a plummet when you need it. Actually, switcheroo seems great in this matchup. We'll bring that in too, just for the heck of it. Yeah, I think that I think this is just better for the deck. I'll keep this hand. Split flame, split, split flame and Spark Tongue Dragon are pretty good. And even if you don't get to kick this guy, uh, you still, you can still pay six and get the Spit Flame back. So, I think the LeVar Burton treatment would be sweet. What in the earth? We're going to ride this Cleansing Nova out again. We're going to keep it up. Uh-oh. Well, now we're probably just killing this thing. I think we wait till they equip it. No, I'm wishing I played the stupid gutter snipe. The regret is so real. Time to just play this. Actually, we're gonna wait till we get a second red so we can get this back for obvious reasons. Well, they missed the land drop, so I'm probably not gonna slow roll. No regrets. Not a single letter. Oh, would you look at that guy? I will block. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just keep them off lands.
Obviously our creature is better, but well, that's pretty good eventually. Any land here is good, but a blue is better. This Cleansing Nova destroying all artifacts seems pretty good soon. <laughs> Alright, so white was actually the last one we wanted, because now we just have Meteor Golem to... And let's see if they have the Essence Scatter. They do not. Uh, just get rid of the Rogue's Gloves. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Sure. Good deal. Well, now they have six mana, so they can pretty much do anything they want within the confines of their deck. We need one more red to actually get back the uh, Spit Flame with this Spark Tongue Dragon. Well, that's not going to help. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's pretty gas. Man, Gutter Snipe's doing work over here. I mean, even if we just cleansing Nova, it still almost kills them. Play the dragon? It's so bad though. We really want a third mountain here, and I don't know why we're not getting it. Well, I mean, if we have Switcheroo, if we if we have the mana to play Switcheroo, we're probably just going to play the Horizon Scholar instead. Do you guys think you guys know we don't have a blue mana, right? <laughs> you guys know we don't have a a way to cast Switcheroo, otherwise we'd have a four four flyer on the board, right? Sure. There's also not a creature that we can target of theirs with Switcheroo. So I'm also very I'm very curious how you think this Switcheroo plan is gonna work out. Man, this Switcheroo plan is a real makeshift mannequin of M nineteen, isn't it? So seven, I don't think you have double titanic growth in hand. So I'm going to just take seven here. Okay, well, you didn't. That's nice. 
Rabbit Bite. No. Supreme Phantom. And that idiot. Alright, that's game. If you switch over for Ancestral Recall, you could probably find the island you need. That's probably correct. I'm going to take one of these out. We want an abundance of mountains, so we'll bring in all the mountains. Almost tempted to have, like, the one lava axe in the deck. Oh, yeah, this hand is definitely where you want to be. The funny thing is I'm almost tempted to keep this hand because it has every every color we need except for double white. Um, why only two blue sort? Because we only have two blue cards. And they're five and six drops. Yeah, we're also on the draw. Nailed it. Oh, combo. Combo's connected to the other bone. Oh, I see. I feel like we're in good shape this game. Especially because they didn't play anything there. There are no flash creatures, right? I don't actually think there are. I could see a... I'm going to play this guy because I feel like you're probably going to have... Oh, you didn't have a counterspell. Well, now I feel silly. I guess I don't feel silly, but... Now they're going to play Gin of Wishes. Oh, that's actually better. This is all great. Uh, that can't kill you. But we can do both of these at some point. This is definitely a Rupture Spire turn. I always get Rupture Spire confused. I think it costs two mana. It actually costs one. No, we wouldn't have had enough, actually. We would have went one, two, three, four. Rupture Spire would have uh, used this one. So we would have only had three. So this was not a Rupture Spire turn. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, yes, obviously I'm saying in their colors. I, I clearly don't care about a black flash creature when I'm when they're playing blue, blue green. I'm actually just looking for ways that they could get us. And uh, playing a black creature is not one of them. So, so let's revitalize first to see what we do. We could rupture, yeah, we're going to rupture spire and then keep lightning strike up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is 11 damage. I'm pretty sure that's almost, that's pretty much game. This seems pretty good. So 
So gutter snipe, gutter snipe deck dealt us an extra four damage this game. That's pretty okay. I have no issues with that. I will take nine here. Hmm. Yep. Lightning strike your face. Spitfire this thing. Got him with the gutter sniper. -oo. That was pretty good. I, uh... I'm okay with that. Was there anything else we boarded in that we liked? I think we liked the red, the blue cards. What did we cut here? Uh, cut the tectonic rift because that was just filling the the spot. I actually liked revitalize. Funny enough. Oh, we played blue that game. Like, we had Horizon Scholar and uh, Switcheroo in our deck for the sideboarded matches, but... I will play first. Oh, yeah, this hand again. The funny thing is, if we hit land, land, this hand's actually amazing, because we have... Sky Spanner, Scanner, whatever, I'll keep this hand. This is fine. It's not great, but it'll do. Yeah, we only have two blue sources. There's only two cards. What do you guys think the ratio is to number of cards to number of sources you need? I think you could stretch putting a third blue source in the deck for two blue cards, but they're five and six drops. Like, you're fine. Um... Yeah, I'll keep that guy. That guy's more than adequate. Also, they're going to they're going to five, so not terrible for us. Two sources plus number of cards. That seems really weird. I don't know if I agree with that. That means, like, if you have three blue cards, you should have five blue sources. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Tommy Billy, what's going on? Your haircut looks better on YouTube. Big fan. Wow, that's messed up. Now you're just hurting my feelings. I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh, that, that that's dead. Well, that's terrifying. I think each end step, if you gain five or more life, okay, well, that's not happening, so. Well, I guess we're going to waste our turn killing that and not feeling bad about it. Any reason not to play Crash Series or 44? No, not really. Actually, I like that idea. Any reason you you suck? Is there any reason for that, Quacker2000? Did you ever think about that, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Any reason you spend so much time during the day getting wrecked? Hmm. All questions we should ask ourselves, I think.
all the time, every day. Nice. Well, you know what they say. Get wrecked is what they say. I bet this Courser and this Havoc Devils can get there. This is where they untap, play Lightning Strike, and then we're just like, never mind. I was voted most likely to suck eggs in high school. Wow, that's a surprising superlative that I didn't know was uh, available in high schools. Okay, your own Havoc Devils. One, two, three, four. You can just play both of these next turn. That's pretty okay. Ooh-wee. One, two, three. Ooh-wee. Ah, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Ooh-wee. Also, Switcheroo is great if they end up having something like Luminous Bonds, because then we just give them the Luminous Bonds creature, and then... Uh, well, we're not attacking here, because then they just triple block, and that's bad. We either trade this guy for a Goblin Instigator, a, a Goblin Instigator card, which would be both of these, or we trade it for a Daybreak Chaplain, and I ain't about that. Any reason not to Bonds the Ruptured Spire so it won't die in combat? No, no reason not to. I just don't think we have to do that yet. Um, I think we could probably wait. I'd like to have makeshift mannequin in hand, though, so we can get it back if we need to, you know? So, that's just me. That's just that's just my play style. This is the white-red mirror match, only we have the gutter snipes. Oh. Intriguing. I mean, let's see the mighty leap. Oh, a shock. Interesting. I see. Oh, a land. Interesting. Matthew, or I'd be your friend. But only if you win your wrestling state championship, because otherwise... Loser! I think everyone's mom thought MTG was like devil worship. It's super weird how stupid people were in the 90s. It's un it's unfathomable, actually. Like, sometimes I think about it, and I'm like, wow. You are actual morons. That's amazing. I'll get my snipe on. Hop out of bed. Mm. That's fair. People are still quite stupid. That's that's fair. You can play MTG and, and worship and and not worship the devil, but really, what's the point, man? Look at this. This is just a cantrip that deals two and we gain three. Draw another gutter snipe. I mean, actually, Quacker, if we're talking about playing Crash as a 41st card, we, we can also talk about playing the second Revitalize as a 41st card. Really, they're just cantrips, right? So you're just cycling through them. So it's kind of like playing Gitaxian Probe in your, in your deck. Can this resolve? I just want to draw my card. I want to draw my Gutter Snipe number two. Agreed, still hate you. Wow, okay. That's... <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. I, uh... Can't argue with that, I suppose. I'm just gonna attack with this guy. If you want to double block, if you want to block and pump or block and trick or... Oh, you just nothing. Seems good. I am a fan. Wow, Chaplin's on deck over here. Oh, there he is. He was... We were one turn away.
Keep on rolling. <laughs> Contextium Bro was banned, Frank. Okay, you got it. I had to tell my pastor I didn't have any devils or demons in any way. Okay, that's weird, man. People are weird. Oh, now we can switcheroo! Give me one land so we can go snipe switcheroo. Oh, yes. I think that's actually game, because we deal four, and then we can attack with both of these guys, and they would have one blocker, so. Oh, man. This is what we're hoping for. Now switcheroo got good. Oh, we can just wait it out. We'll just play two of these guys. Alright, well, you're dead on board, technically. They're like, no, I'm not even playing this out. Oh, that's good times. I like it. Magic is a game of good times. I also don't hate Disperse because they do have a, uh, a Luminous Bonds. The name is Bonds. Luminous Bonds. You can't submit 41. If I didn't start with 41, I can't submit 41. That's weird. Oh, I did submit already. <laughs> Let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, this hand is great. I mean, let's not let's not make it seem like this generation is dumber than others because of Tide Pods, right? Like, I mean, you would be hard pressed to not find something similar that other generations have done that was just as stupid. We just we just think it's it's the dumbest because we're in this generation. Oh, a boggard brute! I feel like this is a cleansing nova moment. We can revitalize, hit something. Yeah, we're going to try to Cleansing Nova. We're going to try to get him. This is game two. Remember that time? Yeah, remember that time we played Karn and then we negative two to get a, a card of the silver counter? Negative one to get a card of the silver counter on it? And then uh, we never did because that didn't exist. So we're going to end up taking nine, but we're going to revitalize here. So we'll only really take three. Or we could not revitalize and just save it. Gaining life later is just the same as gaining life now. And we could always have a gutter snipe. We could just wait. We don't need to play anything. So. Oh boy. This is rough. I wish we had something to do here. Just play one more thing and I'll feel so good about everything that's happening. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Play two of those. Play one more of those guys. Oh my god. We did it. This is the most value I've ever had. Oh boy. We're doing well here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Yep, our hand is pretty unbelievable right now. Meteor Golem, Lightning Strike, a Dragon, a Dragon Egg, and a Revitalize. And of course, sir, this hand is a gas. I don't know how they recover from that, I'll be honest with you guys. We do need one more red sword. Oh, yeah, 2 1. That's not going to do it. It's, uh, it's not going to do. Okay, well, we got the red sword. We got all red requisite red sources for this guy. One, two, three, we'll play Courser and we'll play Dragon Egg. Yeah, the four for one, believe it or not, the four for one is actually a uh, solid magic strategy. If you guys ever have the opportunity to have one of those, uh, I highly recommend it. Oh, a third goblin impersonator, instigator. He's not impersonating anyone. Oh, it's your boy. 
This is exactly why we kept the uh, the revitalize and the lightning strike in hand. I'm gonna revitalize now because if we hit any land, we can keep up lightning strike, and we want to hit a land drop. So okay, we didn't hit a land drop. That's fine. I accept. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit land, land, we can go golem into spark tongue dragon, which is pretty choice. Here comes the no. Okay, that guy's fine. Land. Bonds. I mean, it could just lightning strike this guy and be fine with that. I'm okay with that. I like saving lightning strike for the face in the uh, in the gutter snipe matches, but whatever. I think it's fine. Guess I'll drop a havoc devils. Give your boy float. I too have a Havoc Devils. Cool story, bro. Just that guy? Alright, I'll block. Give me that sweet, sweet floater. They're basically dead, right? Like, this is... Pretty much bottom of the barrel territory here. Take seven. Seven. Got him. All right, I think we're in good shape here. I'm no magic expert. Having Spark Tongue Dragon in hand. Oh my god. Having Spark Tongue Dragon in hand is pretty good. I'm no Spark Tongue expert, but. Oh, Resplendent Angel. Alright, so the angels just keep coming. Can you imagine if we hit a land here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we just get to play Spark Tongue. Yep, alright. <laughs> Kill the Resplendent Angel with Spark Tongue Dragon. Oh, good times. Sweet Mythic. I'll kill it with my 8 mana guy. Our deck is cool. I'm enjoying it. I'm just going to play the second Revitalize, because I, I sold myself on it to Quacker, where it's just a 60. It's just a 41st card that cycles itself. I mean, the deck would be a train wreck if we didn't have all these good cards in it. <laughs> no, but seriously, Gutter Snipe's a hell of a drug. I have a headache. I took two, two ibuprofen, but it's not working. I will play first. Oh yeah, this hand's great. Like we said, Revitalize just cycles, but we can actually wait till we have Gutter Snipe and then it cycles and shoots them in the face. Half price draft, but then remember servers are going to implode from stressed... Oh, half price drafts. Do you get to keep the cards when the game's not in beta? Yeah, I might actually 
cycle this to draw a card here. I just want to hit a... I think we only have two dragons, but I could be wrong. We only have two spark tongues as far as I know. Yeah, definitely didn't want to draw that. But that was what we wanted to see. You know what? Sure. If you got a trick, knock yourself out. Cool. You got it. I mean, I'd rather have you use that sooner rather than later, so. Land again? Well, that's kind of like a land. That's actually, if it hits a land, it's just the best land ever. Yeah, that's really good. Did they just Sovereigns bite us? That's hilarious. Oh, we're winning this game for sure. He said... Uh, arrogantly. Oh, these lands are just great. <laughs> we're going to keep this back because they have... Uh, multiple creatures that die to our guy. Epicure is kind of obnoxious, but we have a sky scanner that we can just trade. <laughs> Seems pretty good. I don't really want to attack because then you're just going to do bad things. I'll just pass here. Oh, gaining life and I lose a point. Seems good. Ooh hoo hoo! No attacks, huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two lands to make this really, really kick here. So if we switch here, we have good attacks. So we tap this guy down, then they can go block, block. Which I think is actually fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, our board is just significantly better, and our hand is pretty much insane. So as long as we can keep their... Yeah, that none of these cards really matter. Hmm, I see. Any one land and our dragons are just online. That's pretty cool. They're at 30, though. That's a lot. That ain't no joke. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape here. I'm no expert. We'll get rid of your lifelinker because your 1 1 really doesn't pose a threat to us. Meteor Golem? Epic Hero Blood Number Dose. Okay. 
Land is not what we're looking for here. I will trade with your Epicure. No? You want to do that? Okay. We're just going to take out his guys. Uh, we could take out their face and put them to 13, but... Whatever. I'm good. I see. That was probably the card you care about least because you can just block it. Right? I feel like you'd probably want to get rid of one of these dragons. Because now you got now we're, now we got lethal on the board, or it doesn't matter. Yeah, put you on top, put you on the bottom. Sure. Uh, I haven't had a chance to kill someone with Thud, but we did have a chance to uh, play Thud, and it was pretty unimpressive, unfortunately. What does that do? They charge, chose Vanguard and Priest? Okay, so they're going to gain some Priest life. That seems fine. They have no cards in hand, though. Yeah, this is a pretty top decky. What do you think is the best uncommon of the set? Um, I think off the top of my head, and I don't think it's 100% correct because I'm not sure. Off the top of my head, I would say Psychic Symbiont. I think that card is great. Um, I, it could be Meteor Golem. Actually, it might be Meteor Golem. Could also be Lightning Strike. I think there's a lot of good uncommons. I don't know. I would say Meteor, Meteor Golem because it fits in every deck, obviously. Um, is there a card that's like your opponents can't gain life? Do we have that card? I don't think so. So I'm going to say, I think we're fine. I have yet to open a murder in any of my drafts. I've only done like 11 or 12 though, so. Starcrown stack is best uncommon, you're right. It's murder. Um, I like this hand. We need some lands, but we're on the draw, and this hand is fantastic if we... Also, Dragon Egg and Spitfire is muy bueno. Also, someone said we had three dragons, and I forgot Dragon Egg, so I'm a dummy, and they were right. Oh, my God. We do need lands. I will revitalize in order to uh, hit a land again. Again, I don't like wasting these without a gutter snipe out, but it's really not. Like, they're just replacing themselves. All right, maybe we wait. We want double red for sure. Ooh, maybe we play Boggard Brute first. Yeah, we do, because we're not going to play the egg until we can trigger the Spit Flame, and we don't have anything to play Spit Flame with. So, Bogger Brute's a fine compromise here. We did, uh, we're did. we not missing a land drop yet. So that's good. Well. Let's 
So if we hit a red, we can go Dragon Egg, get Spitfire back, which is pretty good. Or we can just play Star Crown Stag. Here comes an Epic Cure of Blood. Which is fine because we have Spit Flame in the graveyard. And now we have Spit Flame in our hand. Also, if they want to attack, we can block with Dragon Egg, Spit Flame this guy. It's all very, very good. Don't hit with your Buggler. Oh no, Buggler's on deck. Let's see what we got here. Nothing? Nothing, of course. No hits. No hits. Oh, that was... This is an uncommon. You got multiples? God, the rich get richer. Man, so many things are happening. I'll block. Sure. Prevent four, make a 2-2 two -two flyer. Actually, we could Spitfire next turn. Oh, let's do that. Oh, that was a great draw. Oh, no, it wasn't. We don't care about that, actually. Oh, yeah, it was. We just don't play Stag. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I guess we could have killed one. Yeah. Magic's hard sometimes. I'm actually just going to kill this guy right now. Should have done that before. We wouldn't have taken a point. Theoretically, we should have killed the Child of the Night, attacked for three, and then they would have been pretty similar situation. But now, whenever this dies, we get a we get the Spit Flame back, which is great. So now we can play Stark Run Stag and still keep the one man up to get the Spit Flame back, and then it's just Spit Flame, and then we have Spark Tongue Dragon to do it again. Any blue source, we can play both of these. Our, I think we're in great shape here. Mm-hmm. They're also at 20, which is not super impressive, considering you're trying to gain all this life. I will block, because, really, what else are you doing for me, Egg? Yeah, that's pretty good. Gasoline. Lich's Caress. You got it. Good deal. Oh, that was a great draw. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, our hand is insane. Sure. Gain one, lose one. You got it. Bro, you know I got these spit flames on deck. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't really feel like playing this guy when this guy's on board. I'm just going to spit flame it. And then we can just stay back. We're going to win with flyers this game, so I'm not too concerned. That card's very good. I mean, they can't attack us, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to play Horizon Scholar here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to keep the mountain on top. I don't care about the Pegasus Courser here. We're not going to block here. But then they can just double lock here, which seems pretty bad, so. No attack? Wow. You're at 29. 
Now I'm just going to Spark Tongue. What? God, do we just wait one more turn to Spark Tongue Dragon with... Uh, I'm just going to Fiery Finish this. Yeah, because if we have 9 mana, we can actually Spark Tongue get back Spitfire, which is significantly better. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we just need... We don't even need a red. We need any land. Because we only need 4 red sources and we have them all right now. Any land is great. That'll do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spark Tongue. 1, 2, 3. Yes. Oh, and the game ends. All right, our deck is insanely good. We had no idea. Won that last round without a single gutter snipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to support me on Twitch or on Patreon, feel free to check out those links. They're in the description below. Any little bit helps out, especially because I make content stream for a living. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons if you like the content. I'll see you guys next time.